if you are going to touch freedom of speech, you're going to touch democracy. Freedom of speech is synonymous with also criticizing religions and religious practices. You can, of course, criticize religion. It's only healthy. Don't forget when you are dealing with person, you have to respect them and listen to their opinion eh? without immediately saying, sorry, you know, like we, we, we throw you in jail or we kick you out of the country. And that, that is where I think at the moment, the, especially Holland is crossing a line. Also ich glaube, das ist ein äh, weit gedehnter Begriff natürlich, aber für mich persönlich ist es klar, dass, dass es keine Grenzen geben sollte in diesem, in diesem Feld. Ich glaube, das ist auch eine große Errungenschaft heutzutage, dass, äh, dass man sehr wenig Begrenzungen hat bei seiner Meinungsfreiheit und ich finde, das sollte noch weiter ausgebaut werden, also auch in Theatern und äh, in der Presse. My background is mostly in peace building and conflict resolution in the fields. Uh, I worked in war-thorn countries like Mozambique, Angola, Kosovo, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Georgia and Afghanistan. I set up uh, in the past what we call community radio stations in war countries. If you can use radio to support the killing, you can also use radio to create peace. A radio station which is called Mile Colin in uh, Rwanda use media to support the killings and the hatred during the genocide. So we tried to reverse the whole discussion and that's where we were moving into and we were training young journalists in Radio for Peace buildings. What is unique in I4 is that we are not really trying to blame one of the parties, but we are trying to bring parties together to start dialogues and try to solve the problems peacefully. You see within I4, uh, Muslims working together with Christians, Buddhists working together with Muslims, very famous people like Martin Luther King, Mahatma Gandhi and last year uh, the Dalai Lama eh, were all part of our movement. We also have projects in schools, we call it non-violent education in primary schools and kindergartens. And those projects are sponsored by UNESCO, uh, the UN, uh, the Dutch Minister of Foreign Affairs, where we are trying to bring in an element of peace education in the existing curriculum of schools, because I think it's very important that children learn that war is not own, the only solution of solving conflicts. Eh? There are better, more peaceful means. And if you start to believe that at a very young age, you will act in it when you are a little bit older. <laughs>